Hi, church. Hello, hello, hello. Blessings, blessings from the Lord Jesus Christ. We are here in Piedras Negras, Mexico, and we're doing a lot of visitations. We are doing one-on-ones, seeing the needs, the despairs, the heartbreaks, and truly bringing the love of Christ globally, internationally, as well as around the world. I truly love to see God's hand move as we move forward in so many ways and the things that God would have us to move. So excited to be able to be on this podcast and to share and to save and to really bear the heart. You know, God can take you anywhere, but as long as God is first within your life in all areas and spectrums, He sees the light. He sees the life and he sees the heart within your life to be able to express what is in your life. And a lot of times people are seeing what is in your heart by the factor of your love and your intake and what you're giving into the life of others. Biblically speaking, laying down our lives and giving our lives to Christ in so many ways to outpour and to show God's goodness and His life within our lives. It can be in handshake. It could be giving coffee. It can be just lifting up the hands of others, bringing words of encouragement, bringing love into the lives of family, laughter, having that peace and joy in mind that God is about people and God is love. Us giving love as he has given us love. Staying in the area of peace, peace in our minds. And this is everywhere, amen. The need, the poverty, uh, selectiveness, right? And being transformed in the way of our minds. It doesn't matter where the Lord could have you, but it's having not only a change of mind, but a change of heart and wanting to God's will to build God's kingdom. And we can live a little better. Whatever area or aspect where you have lived in the past or maybe living in your future, and it's not portraying of something that we're not, but just truly being the person that you are. Not having a closed mind, and more so not having a closed heart. That as long as our hearts are open and we're rejoicing in the things of God, and rejoicing in all the things that He has for us as well, that He is the same God as the Word speaks, that He's the same God of yesterday, today, I'm forever. Where the Lord speaks of, there's nothing missing, there's nothing broken, that we are at a constant in God's hands. Well, we have to trust God, even with a little. Trusting God that when He says, you're going over to the other side, or you're going back other to the other side, that not look into the hands of men, but into the hands of God and trusting God for what he has in store for you. God knows what you're at best and he knows what to do with the little that you have to give forth so much more what he has into your life. Church, I really believe in believing in his word. I really believe in believing in His promises. I really believe of shaking off the dead stuff and really keeping our minds on the heights of Christ. It doesn't matter how high you go. It doesn't even matter how low you go. Living humbly before the Lord, He will always exalt you. When you lift up His name, He always brings you to a place of abundance. He always brings you to the place 
of having more than enough in every good work. And so my prayer for you today is to keep your heads up and let your light to shine. Share in the life of Christ and be in the light. Be in the difference in this world that others can't understand or maybe even contain. But know that He is God. He is God in all of your life. He is God in all the areas to be the life of Christ. There's a need in each and every one of us. There are needs that need to be exposed, need to be known as you knock on the doors. The Lord said he's going to open up those doors for you. He knows how to bless your life. And he will continually to bless your life and opening up your life to be a blessing in so many ways as we're a blessing to others. Having a perspective, a total perspective in all the ways where he can be a blessing into your life. So let us praise the Lord, let us honor the Lord, let us glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in all areas to be a blessing. As the word says, as we seek forth the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto us. Keeping your eyes on the prize. And truly, it's not the things of this world, but it's on Christ. Uplifting the name of Jesus. He is the one that sets you free. And when the sun sets free, is free indeed. Thank you, church, for being a part of this podcast with me. Really just pouring out of my heart. And I pray that in touching and ministering the life of Christ, no matter where you are at, you may be on a high, you may be on a low. I'm telling you, the angels of Christ surround you, protect you, guard you, and that is there for you. God bless you. We love you. And you know what, church? We'll see you so, so very soon. Thank you for joining with me here today on this podcast. God bless you, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.